everybody, I'm Teresa Strasser. You're watching The List. We are blowing through glass and painting through water. Nikki Mayo has the artsy details of what people are talking about around Baltimore. At number one, get ready for four stages and 13 city blocks of artistic expression. It's like a really cool little artist community for three days. Artsgate kicks off tomorrow in Mount Royal. More than 350,000 people are expected to brave the heat to check out some of the hottest art around. McFadden Art Glass is one of 150 artists ready to show off their best works. We can turn your ideas into three-dimensional uh, glass sculptures, little animals. We do a lot of like sea creatures out of glass. All it takes is a little glass, a lot of color, and tons of patience. And before you know it, you have one amazing work of art. Artscape runs through Sunday. At number two. People like you can't be neatly tied up. Speaking of art in Charm City, like we talked about in the hot list, Baltimore's own House of Cars wasn't the big winner, but it sure broke ground at this morning's Emmy nominations. You know we're talking. No, of course not. The Netflix series starring Kevin Spacey and Robin Wright was shot all over town. A big win for House of Cards and a big win for Baltimore. Should we sit? Also bringing in five nominations, Beat, which is also shot in Baltimore, and a nod for star Julia Louis-Dreyfus for Best Leading Actress in a Comedy Series. I only do this internationally. That's my deal. At number three, the Baltimore Watercolor Society has decked the halls around Stevenson University for the Mid-Atlantic Regional Watercolor Exhibition. This exhibit really has uh, a leaning toward portrait and figure work. Just happens to be what the juror selected. The watercolor exhibition runs through the end of the month. Now you're caught up and clued in to what's happening around Baltimore. I'm Nikki Mayo.